What's up guys, welcome to Build. So I installed a CD player in my wife's car last week and I was looking at videos on how to do it, how to install the CD player and I found a lot, but they were all really long or they contained a lot of words and it was really confusing. So I decided to make a video that was a lot more simple. So this video is gonna teach you how to install a CD player in pretty much any car. Um, this is a Volkswagen that I'm working on so I'm gonna have to take some extra steps for it. I'll show you that at the end of the video, um, but it'll work for any car. And the goal is to keep this install video under one minute starting now. Okay, so the things you're gonna need is a CD player and an install kit. The kit is gonna be specific to your car and it's gonna come with a wiring harness, tools to remove your old CD player, and it's gonna come with a trim piece to help fit the new universal CD player into your specific car's dash. So your CD player is gonna come with some plugs and those plugs are gonna have wires that are labeled uh, front speaker, rear speaker, things like that. You're gonna to wanna to take those wires and wire them up to the corresponding wires on your plug from your kit. To connect the wires, you can just use these crimp terminal things. One end of each wire goes into each side of the terminal, and then you can just crimp them down with your crimp tool, or I actually use diagonal pliers. Most of the time, these wires are the same color, but you're gonna to wanna to reference your plug's packaging just to make sure. Once all of that is wired up, you can pull your old CD player out, and you can plug the new one in. At this point, you can turn the car on and make sure that the CD player actually turns on. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that the CD player turns off when you switch the key off. Mine does not because it's a Volkswagen. I'll show you how to fix that at the end of the video. Once your CD player works, you can take the trim piece that came with your kit and fit it onto your new CD player. Now the trim piece may take some sanding. Mine actually took a lot of sanding to make the CD player fit, but you can trim it up, you can sand it and get the CD player to fit in there. It doesn't have to be exact, it's just gotta be close. So you'll place your new trim piece on the CD player, fish the wires into the hole in your dash for your CD player. You're gonna wanna find a place where they can kinda tuck away out of the way of your actual CD player, and you'll slide the new CD player in. Push it in until it clicks, turn the key, start the car, make sure your CD player works, and you're good to go. Now that's it, you really can do this at home. It's, it's not a hard process at all. It's very easy and it'll save you a good bit of money on having to pay somebody to install it. Now if you drive a Volkswagen, in order to get the radio to act the same way as the factory radio does, you're gonna have to run a four foot extension wire out of the power of your CD player underneath the dash and to a yellow post underneath the steering wheel. To pull a little section of your dash off, you're gonna take the T20 torque screws out of the bottom and it'll just pull away. Once you have it out of the way, you'll see the yellow post. You can put a ring terminal on the end of that wire or you can just wrap the wire around the post and screw the nut back onto the post. That will allow the CD player to work just like the factory CD player. Look, I hope this made this process easy for you. I hope it made it more simple. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the like button, and we'll see you soon.